Hi, my name is Tara from Simple Day, and I am on a mission to make productivity simple using Monday.com. Today, I want to show you how you can use your Monday board to differentiate different leads that come in from different sources. Today, specifically, I'm going to be talking about different URLs. So we can track, basically, if you have a website and you want to know which lead came in from a contact form versus which lead came in from your homepage form. Now, we're taking Monday forms and embedding them on a website. So what I did is here we have, I'm going to just show you the setup. Here we have the basic board setup. I have a group of new leads because I really want all my new leads in all my leads in one place. Then we have two separate groups, which is showing me the contact page. These are going to be the leads from the contact page and the leads from the homepage. I'm not actually going to be using these groups in a functional way to be managing my leads, but I'm just using them to set up, up the automation. Now I also set up two different forms. I have a a form that I'm going to put on my contact page, which is going to be a purple form. And I actually have the exact same form, which I just made blue so we can differentiate them. That's going to be on my home page. The only difference in these forms is where the, the answers are going to go to. So as you can see, the home page form, it's going to the home page group. The contact form is going to the contact group. Okay. Now the columns that I have here, I have a person column, status, lead, date, email, phone, and then I have URL because as I said in the beginning of this video, I want to track which URL these people came to. And I don't want to use Zapier or, or an API or any external tool, but I do want to know which form they came to. So this is kind of a workaround to try to show you um, how this happened, how, where these leads came from. You also could do this if you have different lead sources. Let's say you want to check a form that you have on um, leads that come in from Facebook versus LinkedIn, or really you could use it with anything. But I, the point is that I set up two different groups, two different forms, two different groups, and then I have the different statuses. So I just want to dive quickly into the automation. So I set up three automations. The first one is when an item is created and, and then I qualified it by saying only if contact page, if URL, um, sorry, if the, the item is in the contact page group. So then I'm going to automatically change the URL status to contact page. Then I have the exact same thing I just duplicated, but I changed it to if it's in the home page group to send the URL to home page. Now, once my leads come in and they go into these individual groups, I don't, I'm not going to be working with them in these groups. So I'm, I automated that they're going to move to my group called new leads. So the, the automation is when URL changes to anything, move items to new leads. I'm going to assign myself as the person. I'm going to set the status to new lead and I'm going to set the lead date to today. So let's just test this out to show you how it works. So here I am on my first form and let's just remember the purple one is the contact form it would be on a contact page. So here I'm just going to call it Tara contact, fill out my information. Okay, and click submit. Now I'm going to go back to my form. And you can see, see it, what, we missed it. It was so quick. You can see it was in my contacts group and now it moved to my new leads and it's marked as contact page. So this way I know this lead came in from the contact page of my website. Now let's just do the separate second one. So this is a form that would be embedded on my homepage. So I'm just going to call it Tara home and stick in the information and hit submit. Let's see if we can get it right now. See, it showed here Tara home and then it moved up to this group and then it's marked as homepage and new lead. So I know that these are the leads that I want to work from, but I'm able to differentiate the source um, or in this case, the URL. Hope this is helpful.